anterior facial compartment of the uh, upper arm uh, the muscles uh, we have uh, BBC so we have got the biceps uh, brachii muscle uh, the brachialis muscle and also the uh, coraco uh, brachialis muscle uh, firstly we're going to talk about the biceps brachii muscle the biceps brachii muscle has got two uh, heads uh, this is the long head and uh, this is the short head. Uh, the short head uh, attaches uh, with the uh, coracobrachialis muscle to the coracoid process of the scapula. And uh, it also uh, has the uh, insertion of the uh, pectoralis minor muscle. The uh, long head uh, of the, uh, brachial, uh, of the uh, biceps uh, brachii muscle uh, attaches to the uh, supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. Um, as an origin, of course. Uh, both of the heads uh, unite. Um, to form uh, th this tendon, uh, this is the biceps tendon. Uh, the biceps tendon then attaches to the uh, bicipital uh, tuberosity or the radial tuberosity of the radius, of course. Uh, so it is important to know that the uh, biceps uh, brachii muscle attaches to the radius, uh, and also um, it also has another insertion. Uh, another insertion, uh, another insertion of the biceps uh, brachii muscle is these, uh, is this, which is the bicipital aponeurosis. This is the bicipital aponeurosis. Then uh, move to the uh, brachialis muscle. Uh, this is the brachialis muscle. Uh, so uh, the origin of the brachialis short is the lower half of the anterior aspect of the humerus. Uh, it's important to know that uh, the biceps brachii muscle attaches to the radius. However, the brachialis attaches to the ulna, the coronoid process of the ulna. Um, okay, and uh, this is the coracobrachialis. Uh, of course, the origin, as we said, is the uh, coronoid, uh, cor coracoid, uh, coracoid process of the scapula. Uh, okay, now uh, talking about the nerves uh, of the anterior facial compartment. Uh, this is the uh, median nerve. Uh, uh, this is the uh, lateral. This is the lateral uh, and uh, medial. Uh, the cords of the brachial plexus, they unite to form the median nerve. The median nerve uh, passes uh, in front of the brachialis and then uh, behind the uh, aponeurosis, uh, the, uh, sorry, the bicipital aponeurosis. So uh, it passes uh, above the brachialis and below the uh, bicipital aponeurosis. It has no branches in the arm. Uh, and uh, the most uh, medial nerve is the ulnar nerve. Um, it, uh, again, it has no branches in the upper arm. Uh, and uh, it uh, passes uh, behind the medial epicondyle of the uh, humerus. Uh, so this is the uh, ulnar nerve. Um, uh, and also uh, we've got the uh, uh, we've got one artery, the brachial uh, artery. This is the brachial artery. Um, okay, and this is the brachial artery. Musculocutaneous uh, nerve. Uh, yes, and musculocutaneous nerve, which uh, supplies all the muscles. This is the uh, musculocutaneous nerve. It has got branches to, of course, all of these uh, muscles because it supplies. And this is a branch of the musculocutaneous nerve. It is called the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm. It supplies the skin over the anterior and lateral aspects of the forearm. And uh, th this is the, the uh, triceps. This is long head of triceps, and these two are the cut heads of the lateral head of the triceps. Uh, this is the uh, spiral or uh, the radial groove. There are three structures passing through the radial or the spiral groove of the humerus, and they are the radial nerve, the profunda brachii artery, and the profunda brachii vein, respectively from top to bottom, because that is how it appears in this photo. However, we should actually say from medial to lateral.